Hello friends, in this topic we are going to see what are advantages and disadvantages of digital signal processing over analog signal processing. The first and most important advantage of DSP is that it is flexible. Now consider I have a DSP processor and I want to perform it as low pass filter. What I'll do is that simply I will write a program for low pass filter and put that program in that DSP processor. At another time, suppose I want that processor to behave like high pass filter, then I will put a program which will be for high pass filter. A same processor can be used for low pass filter also and high pass filter also. That means we are not changing any hardware. Whereas in case of analog signal, we need to change entire circuitry for the different operations. In that sense, a DSP is flexible. Second advantage of DSP is that it is very accurate than analog systems. This is because components like diode, capacitors, inductance or others which has the tolerance problem is missing in DSP. As I told you earlier, in DSP we do only mathematical calculations. We write a program to do all the operations. So as there is no tolerance of components, the accuracy of DSP is much higher than analog systems. The third important advantage of DSP is of storage. We know that we cannot store an analog signal whereas we can store a digital signal for a very large data. This gives us an advantage of moving signal from one place to another place without having any physical connection. We can move a data from one place to another place just by storing in some storage device. Next advantage of DSP is that it's mathematical processing. Now imagine that you want to multiply two signals. It is very difficult to perform the multiplication of signal in analog signal processing. Whereas in digital signal processing, it is just a mathematical multiplication. And therefore, any kind of mathematical operations like squaring of signal, multiplying two signals, or taking inverse of some signals, it is very easy. Next advantage is cost. In cost, we should remember one very important thing that the individual price of one DSP processor is very high. Whereas a digital circuitry gives us advantage of producing same circuitry with large number. And therefore the production cost of per processor reduces. And in that sense the cost of a digital processor or digital system is very very less than analog systems. Next advantage of DSP is repeatability. Now you know that there are tolerances in the components which we use in analog signal processing. Resistor, capacitor, inductor and so on will have the tolerances. So the value of those components will not remain the same. Because of that, we cannot replicate same circuitry again and again. Each and every circuitry will be different from each other. Whereas in DSP, as it is just a program, that means the same program if you copy in different processor, each processor will behave exactly and over a period of time, its behavior will not change 
like that of the analog signal processing. The analog component will give different values at different time. It also influenced by temperature, pressure or ambience around that circuit. Next advantage of DSP is that adaptability. Now consider there are some more requirement has come up or new software has come up then analog systems cannot cope up with this update whereas in DSP we can actually update the software and we can adapt our old circuitry to newer version. Next advantage of DSP is that its universal compatibility. The standards of digital computers or a standard signal processors has been defined and therefore one system is compatible with another system which is not case with the analog signal process. Last and very important advantage of DSP is that its size and reliability. We know that the size of digital components are very very small as com compared to the analog system. This is because of the development in very large scale integration and also the reliability that means the performance of these systems are same throughout its lifetime. It is not the case with the analog system. Analog circuitry is bulky and that too it is very unreliable. Now let's see some disadvantage of DSP. First disadvantage is system complexity. The DSP is more complex because it requires analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter and also their associated filters. Designing such system is very complicated and therefore the systems are very complex. The major disadvantage of DSP is that requirement of bandwidth. Now we know that we have talked about the sampling theorem where a sampling frequency should be at least twice that of the signal which we are giving to that system. Now also we require very high speed analog to digital converter. So its bandwidth should be very very high and we know that we cannot have the infinite size of bandwidth and the last disadvantage of DSP is that its power consumption. A digital system are constructed using active de devices like transistors. These devices consume very high power and therefore you might have observed elaborate cooling systems are provided for any digital processor you will encounter in your life. So these are the advantage and disadvantage of DSP. Thank you.